there, welcome back to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball jointed doll and craft related content. Today's video, I'm going to be attempting to make a yarn wake. Uh, it's something I have tried before. Limited success, I guess. Um, so this is like the first real yarn wig I made. Uh, is it good? Let's just, let's just say it. No, it's not good. Um, it's on Birdie for now, because it does suit her. I'm not gonna lie, but it's not, it's not great. You can see some of the yarn, it was not brushed out enough. Um, and I didn't make whips, I just glued it right on, which I think was a mistake for somebody new trying it out. But like the wig cap shape was all right. And like, I don't know, I just really like the color combo. I have a feeling like over time as I brush it, it will get better and better. But I wanted to try again because I do have Noah here and I recently redid Noah's face up and now her old wig doesn't look good on her but I do really like the face up. Uh, I'll let you take a look at it. I was gonna film it but I'm not like the greatest face up artist so I, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't know if anyone wanted to see that but she is very cute. Um, her old wig doesn't suit her. This one doesn't really fit her and I don't have anything for her. So I thought I might take this as an opportunity to just make her a new wig. So here she is in all her baldo glory. And the first thing we have to do is make a wig cap. So to do that, we take the doll, make it bald, and then I need to get some plastic wrap and wrap this girl's head. So I'll be right back with that. Okay, so before we get started, I'm just gonna go over materials for this portion of the wig. Um, I have some plastic wrap that's like having a fight over here. Uh, I have a couple, like these pieces of like a cotton fabric. This is literally just scrap fabric. I sometimes use to make like trial patterns and stuff. It's not stretchy, it's 100% cotton. I think ideally you're supposed to use something stretchy, but this is what I've got on hand, so this is what I'm gonna use. I've also got some Aileen's Tacky Glue and a paintbrush, but I also wanted to try, I have some Mod Podge um, spray on all-in-one glue and sealer. Um, in my experience, this has been more glue than sealer, and I thought it might be nice to just, just be able to if that works out nicely. Um, I bought this by accident one time. You can see it says matte on it. My brain was like, oh, it's sealant. It's not, it is not in fact sealant. So I'm gonna try that. I also have some hair elastics here and some scissors. So the first thing we're gonna do is take Noah and plastic wrap her head. go. I actually like to double wrap the head because I get nervous that I might accidentally rip the plastic wrap um, somehow and then get glue on their head. So once your doll is sufficiently mummified and looks like she's out of a horror movie, I'm going to go ahead and wrap her head with the fabric. So to do this, I'm just literally going to take the fabric, pull it over her head, Grab a hair elastic, pull it, ah, pull it down snug. If somebody out there in the world just manufactured, they probably do, right, the plastic ones? I mean, you can probably buy pre-made wig caps. You can see it's pretty snug. There's a couple spots where it creased. I think this doesn't happen as much with the stretch fabric. But um, this has worked well. Wig caps have never been my issue. The wefts are my issue. So we'll get to that when we get to that, I guess. So now it's the gluing stage and this part takes forever. So I'm just gonna give this a shake and then I'm gonna try this out and try and keep it pointed here. Um, you don't have to get it over the face so much, but I tend to glue from about eyebrows um, around the ears to the back of the elastic. Um, I do end up cutting off a fair bit of this, but I'd rather it be stiff and I cut it off, like when I shape it, than not, so, so yeah. All right, that seemed to work great. Uh, you can see that the fabric is now transparent because it's soaked, but um, I'm curious to see how this dries 
because typically when you use like this glue, it looks pretty gloppy when you first put it on. This looks a lot more wet. Uh, remember there is plastic wrap protecting her um, and none of it like it was pretty pointed none of it got on her hands or her outfit which is really nice I was able to really be directional with it so I'm going to leave this to dry for about 20 minutes and then I will do a second layer so I'll see you back for that okay so while that's drying I'm going to get started on the webs because believe me when I say that this part takes forever for like literal ever um, I've picked a couple colors, so I have this blue here that I think I'm going to use for the main wig. I ordered this and it came, I didn't read like the size, so it came a lot thicker. And um, in my experience, this kind of like cheapo, soft baby acrylic yarn works best for wefts. Anything like cotton based doesn't seem to brush out properly. So I have this and I also have a green one because why the heck not? Um, might make some green wefts, uh, might make a second wig, but you don't need to see that. And I have this one too. I thought that this one was a nice like sea green and could be a really nice complement to the blue or the green, either one. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the blue. And oh, another thing I'm going to use is a dowel. So let me just grab that. Okay, so I didn't have any dowels, but I do have like these coffee stirrer things and that's fine. You just need something you can tie things around. I'm going to double these up so they're a bit stronger, but this is where you're going to need your scissors. Literally all you're going to do is, um, the hairs probably won't ever be able to get longer than this unless you're Jesse at uh, Dark Hour Dolls, in which case miraculously they are. So I'm going to about double that and just keep looping it. Probably, so there's about six strands, like so. Then I'm gonna cut it. And tie it around. I'm going to go ahead and double tie it, like double knot it just so nothing gets loose. So you're left with that. Um, I trim off the ends just by cutting the loops so it doesn't get caught when you're brushing it out. So you're left with like this, right? So uh, do that a bunch of times. Ah, <laughs> yeah, do it a bunch of times until you've pretty much filled this out and uh, I'll see you in a second when that's done. Okay, so I have my yarn here. Uh, you might be thinking, wow, that looks like a lot of hair for one small doll. And the thing is, you're gonna lose like two thirds of this when you brush it out. Um, half to two thirds, depending on the yarn um, and depending on your technique. My technique is not great. Um, I'm gonna use first like a standard like hairbrush high. And then I tend to use like these little combs to kind of pick through. And then I, if I really need to, I'll get a cat brush. I don't know where mine is right now, so I'm gonna try and avoid that. So this took me about 15 minutes to do. So I'm gonna go grab Noah and apply a second layer of glue to her head if it's dry. I'm hoping it is, but then again, I don't know how this stuff acts. So maybe it takes a bit longer. Okay, so now I'm gonna brush these out. I'm just gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna start with the thicker one. Hey. And I'm gonna start with just the standard hairbrush. So you can watch me do that if you want, but I'll mostly just fast forward through this. Okay, so this is like mostly brushed out. It's hard to tell because it's curly. There's a couple pieces in there that are being stubborn, but I'll probably just cut them out. Uh, for reference, this is kind of where we started and here's where we are. Uh, and also for reference, hi. Um, I hold on to this because I can use it to stuff pillows uh, for like dioramas, but also you can use the flocking so you can take this and just if you want to do like an undercut kind of moment which I'm not sure I might. It also depends if I've made enough wefts. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and comb through these now and then I'm going to straighten them to show you. 
Okay, so at this point I am able to comb through with very minimal fluff falling off, um, which tells me it's pretty much good to straighten this bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comb out my other ones first. Again, floof, floof, floof. And for reference, uh, to get to this point where I'm going to straighten it, this one piece won't brush out, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna separate that and pretend it doesn't exist. Chop, bye. Friend who wouldn't brush out. This is 450 brushes through. Um, that's 425 with the brush and then 25 with the comb. So, like, if that gives you any point of reference for how long this takes, uh, yeah, just so you know. So combined for one wig, it looks like I needed about, I don't know, like 900 brushes or so, plus straightening. So yeah, this is what the blue looks like. Very fluffy, very nice, so soft. Okay, so this is the blue wefts. Um, they're super shiny and soft. They look really good. Um, I'm very excited about them. I have the other ones here. Uh, the long bits will be cut down, I think. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make a very long wig, but I like to cut them, say, here, and then make another whole like, weft out of that. Um, I don't know if I have enough for a full wig here, but I also like very thin wigs, so I don't like when they're super voluminous. Uh, I do have quite a lot of this purple, and it did maintain its length really well. It's still got some of that curl to it. Um, I don't know that it was ever coming out, because I did brush it, but I don't mind the way it looks either. There's also a lot of like little pits like this. If you can see where it's still like got little knots. So when I cut the wefts, um, that'll come out pretty easily, I believe. But yeah, um, I'm not gonna be doing the two yarns together because they are different textures and people don't generally have two different hair textures on their heads like that. So I will do one pastel blue and one pastel purple, and I am pretty excited about that. Even if I couldn't get the green to work, I think this will be quite nice. Okay, head caps are nearly dry, um, but I'm not gonna be using them for a bit. So now I'm gonna make the actual wefts. So that means just grabbing the hairs, and I glue them down onto plastic typically, but I don't think I have any. Um, I might spread some of this plastic wrap over a piece of cardboard and then use that. Actually, I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So let me do that. Okay, so here's Fairy Garden Fun covered in plastic wrap. So what I'm going to do is take my glue and I'm just gonna go this way first. Uh, maybe I'll do it like, I don't know. Let's try here. So I'm gonna put like a path down, if that makes any sense at all. Like so. And then I'm gonna grab some of this and I'm gonna cut the ends first. So let's just cut here. That satisfying snip. And take some of my hairs and just lay them over the glue. I'm gonna do this pretty gently. Um, I am gonna go over this in a second. Ah, careful because uh, believe it or not, glue is sticky. And so I'm gonna do this all the way around the perimeter of the book. So I'll be back with that. Okay, so you can see here that we have gone around the perimeter with glue. And I'm actually gonna take make use of my Mod Podge again and just spray the tops so that uh, both sides have glue. And that way I don't have to like fight with trying to like spread it down. Ah, that should do it. So um, I'm just gonna do this for all the rest of my wefts now. It's been about three hours. This is firm. You can hear the scritch. Um, I think I did an okay job. I know there's some creases at the back and uh, Pablo, my friend from Hopeful Creation who makes wonderful wigs, uh, is going to be coming for me in the comments. Hi, Pablo. <laughs> but but uh, this is what I've done. Is it great? No, but is it what I've done? Yes. So. Let me just get a pencil or a pen or some kind of drawing. We have a watercolor pencil and I'm just going to kind of sketch off where I think I want this wig to go because I can see like where the ears are and stuff. All right. Oh, this is the worst color I've ever seen. It's like baby poop green. Ugh. Okay. So now I take off the elastic and honestly, I'm always too afraid that 
I'm gonna ruin the head cap somehow, so I cut the elastic. Sorry, elastic. And then we gingerly lift it away. I'm gonna also unwrap, the, should I unwrap the plastic wrap or leave it? I wish I had, I mean like, what if I could just grab the top layer? Is that a thing that I can do maybe? Like, yeah, yes, we can do that. Oh yes, pro tip, double layer. This is not a pro tip because I am not a pro. Okay, and we still have a layer and it is intact and lovely. That's beautiful, okay. And then we have this baby poo. And I'm just going to cut along the lines I've drawn. There she is. Let's trim this a little bit because we've got an extra hair. Wow, look how soft. So lovely. <laughs> that was sarcasm. Okay, so let's fit this. And I'm actually pretty happy with that. It fits pretty good. Yes, it's loose here. Just deal with it. I'm not good at this. Okay, so I'm going to start gluing down the wefts. To do this, I'm going to lean Noah all the way over and I'm going to start at the base of her neck. So I'm just going to cut my wefts out. I'm ahead of myself. Once. So now that I have a fit, um, I'm gonna just position Noah leaning all the way over because I'm gonna start at the base. Yes, I know there's a big crease there, I know. But first I have to cut my wefts, so let's go do that. The wefts are not all completely dry, but they are pretty tacky. So I am an impatient, impatient person. That is why I probably am so bad at this, but we've taken, re released our book fairy garden, garden fun, whatever it's called, is safe. And I'm going to just cut the plastic it is a weft like this, with just a teeny bit of plastic. And the glue was very evidently not completely dry, or is it dry and it just white? Is this gonna dry white? Should I switch to clear glue? Is it too late? It might be too late. All right, well, I'm just gonna do this for all of them now. Okay, I have a bunch of wefts ready. Uh, I'll probably need to cut more after. I do have some more blue ones, but I wanted to get started because I'm impatient. Hi. I wish you would lean forward a bit more. There we go. And again, some glue. I think I can probably do one long piece right along the base there. Cause this is my first time trying it with wefts. Um, I just glued the pieces on like straight before. This is already a little easier. But I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of go around the base till I get about ah, halfway up the head and then I'm gonna start going down the middle. So I'll be back with that. Okay, here she is with her clown head. So now I'm gonna start doing it where it's parting this way um, up till I get to the middle and then there's a trick for doing the middle part. So I'll be back when I'm here. Okay, so here's where the trick is I took the last long weft and placed it from here to here and it looks like that's the part but what we're actually gonna do is be flipping this over Move some stuff. I glued the other one on facing the opposite direction and pressed it down so I just have to wait for these to dry and then they will separate um, but <laughs> we have to come back to it so I'm gonna put her to the side to dry probably for about three hours so I'll be back after that all right, so here's the part. I'm gonna go use my straightener to flatten it out. I ended up putting the wig on Bijou because she doesn't really have a wig and I thought she looked really cute in it. I gave it this um, like little ponytail part. Uh, I'm not really sure, but it does look super cute. So I'm pretty happy with it. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.